Today we're going to learn how to add a new counselor to a team in Salesforce.com. Your manager Renee Sharif has requested you to add Jason Reed to his team. What you'll need to do to perform this function is to log into Salesforce.com and when you log in you're by default going to be brought to your, your typical login for sales. Uh, you're actually going to need to change this at the top right by clicking where it says SCI Sales and selecting the Team Manager app. And this will bring you to the Team Manager app. And here you'll see different tabs. And these tabs are all related to managing teams and your AOR. Uh, what I want to make sure to remind you of is when you are complete with making the updates, change this back to SCI Sales at the top right corner. If you don't, Salesforce remembers this and next time you log in, you're going to be brought here to the team app instead of the typical sales app that you're looking for. So our manager in this example is Renee Sharif. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and find out which team Renee is on. The simplest, quickest way to do that is to search for the manager's name in the global search at the top of your screen. So I'm going to type Renee Sharif and hit search. If you've already searched for her or this person before, it may pop up under recent items. Feel free to use that. And we'll see under the employee's results, we see Renee Sharif. So we click on her name and we're brought to Renee Sharif's AOR or team membership history. And we see that she's currently the manager of Meadow Ridge Memorial Park team. So I'm going to click on the team name and now I'm at the team's screen and here you can see all the current counselors when they began and the history for the team for all active and terminated employees. What you'll need to do to add Jason Reed is from the screen click the new team member button near the center of the center of your screen and it's going to ask do you want to create a, in which type of member are you going to add. In this example we were asked to add Jason Reed as a counselor on, his, on Renee's team so I'll select Counselor and hit Continue. Now Salesforce will pre-fill the team name since it already knew you were on the Meadow Ridge Teams page. It will also default the start date to the first of the current month. What you'll need to do is enter the employee you're trying to add. So I can begin by typing all or part of the name and in this case I'm looking for Jason Reed. Reed. And if I had recently searched for him, I, will, I can simply click here under my recent items that pops up. Also, uh, or you can default and go to the lookup window. And this will now open and give you all results with Jason Reed in the name. And I found one record. This is the person who's active in Salesforce and I can see the employee ID along with the location and market information. So clicking Jason Reed will fill in for Salesforce. And since the counselor was added this month, I'll begin it at the first of the month for, in, for July 1. And now you hit save. You'll be brought back to the Teams page and you're complete. You've added Jason Reed under Renee's team. Next, we're going to learn how to transfer an employee from one team to another. Uh, recently, Consuelo Zaniga has changed, changed from her current team uh, managed by Victor Perez and is moving to Eduardo Jones's team. And you've been asked to make this change and transfer Consuelo over. So what you're going to do, as you learned in our last example, is search for the new manager of the team you're going to add. So I'm going to look for Eduardo Jones by searching in global search at the top of my screen. So I type in the name and hit search and I'll see a list of results and I'll click on Eduardo Jones. Here we see all of the manager's history uh, and which teams he, he's managed as well as his current team that he manages and we see here that he's the manager of PPA South LA3. I'll click on the team name and I'm brought back to the I'm brought to the team's screen which shows all current and uh, previous members and I'm going to simply click new team member and this is going to be a counselor, is Consuelo's role on this team. And select continue. And as mentioned, Salesforce will pre-fill a lot of the information and load some default values for you to make this easier. And I'm looking for Consuelo as the employee. So I'll use a search box. 
and you can search for all or part of the name. It'll find the, the closest results. I found one result for Consuelo, and she's changing as of July 1 of this year. So I will hit save. Now let's confirm that Consuelo is on the team. So I search under the list of all members, and I found that Consuelo Zuniga is in fact listed. And when I click on her name, I can see her history. And there's a very important step that happens behind the scenes. Uh, by adding a person to a team, Salesforce will automatically end their previous role uh, based on the new start date that you provided. And in this example, we see that Consuelo was a counselor on South LA One team from 2008 all the way through last month on 630. And, when, and the new one begins for PPA South LA 3 as of July 1, 2015.